Good news, everyone. We've done it. We've done it. We're stamping out racism. We're eliminating racism. Uncle Ben, gone. Aunt Jemima, gone. It's about time. This is how you erase racism. This is how you get rid of it. It's how you crush your enemies. The Land of Lakes butter lady, the Native American girl, gone. That's right. Um, I'm not sure how that that works. Uh, I I mean, everybody else is happy about it. So I guess that's right. I guess that's how you get rid of racism. Uh, maybe. I mean, let's just uh, let's just be honest. That is fucking stupid. That is some of the dumbest shit I have ever seen. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're at a point where we're saying, you know, orcs are people too. You know, fictional, fictional uh, group of people. I say people, you know. Fictional species, fictional race, fictional whatever the fuck the, 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 the correct PC term is these days because you can't say race anymore. <clears throat> um, ancestry, is that uh, is that the right word? I, sounds dumb to me. Anyway, now it's, you know, it's, it's not okay to have orcs be, uh, generally speaking, um, evil. I know they're not evil in every... Um, game I know D&D &D traditionally um, in in core books and things like that they're traditionally portrayed as, as overall a generally evil race I know not all uh, works of fiction portray them that way um, I believe, you know, Shadowrun doesn't necessarily portray them as, as uh, inherently evil. Um, I could be wrong about that. I haven't read a Shadowrun book in, uh, you know, God knows how long. But saying that um, it's, it's bad for orcs to be inherently evil is like saying it's bad for halflings to be inherently good. What, what the fuck are we talking about here? This, this is a, a fictional piece of art. And people are trying so hard to inject their virtue signaling, their identity politics, um, their, their, their victim card mentality, um, their holier-than-thou mentality into everything and now it's just bad it's bad to, to it's bad to be anything I, I can't give you an example of what it's good to be anymore because everything is bad now you can't portray anybody as anything other than absolutely Oh, I'm sorry. You can't do that anymore either, because that, that's racist now too. I forgot. Um, you can't portray any anyone as anything other than goody two shoes. You know, it's just fucking. It's sad. It's sad and it's weird. These fucking weirdos. These SJW weirdos uh, are trying to get their nasty little claws into everything and poison it. And it's working. It's working because 
these game companies, these game creators, uh, they've got their fucking clown shoes on, sitting at their keyboards, posting their little rainbow pictures, and their little white fists, and uh, all this other stuff, because they identify with everybody, and this is wrong, and, you know, all these things that they didn't give two fucks about um, a couple months ago when it wasn't Pride Month. They didn't give two fucks about uh, before George Floyd was murdered. And don't get me wrong, I'm that was horrible what happened, and it was murder, and it shouldn't have happened. But this, everybody's jumping on this PC fucking bandwagon of stuff that is infecting not only our hobby of role playing, comics, movies, music, uh, any sort of art or entertainment, comedy, you. You can't have any sort of artistic expression unless it fits with the narrative that these people are trying to push. If it doesn't further their agenda, their woke agenda, fake agenda, then it's bad, wrong, fun of some sort. It, it's not allowed. Um, you know, if you're not with us, you're against us. Um, if you don't post on your Facebook or Twitter feed that you're pro Black Lives Matter, then you're then you're racist and you don't like blacks. If you don't, you know, change your profile picture to something with a rainbow on it, um, then you don't like the alphabet community. If you don't like, you know, you know what I mean. It's just absurd. It's fucking absurd, and it's really sad. It's really, really, really sad that people's creativity um, is being censored and stifled and ripped up and trampled. Um, and, you know, people are being bullied into being sorry for who they are. Uh, you know, Drew Brees... Um, was bullied into apologizing for what he said. There's something wrong with what he said. There was something wrong. What was wrong was him apologizing and giving in to these stupid fucks to begin with. I would never, never apologize for how you feel. Whether I agree with it or not, I don't care. If I completely disagreed, with what Drew Brees said. I would never want him to apologize for for speaking about how he feels. He's not hurting anybody. He's not calling for uh, anybody's head. He's not calling for their blood. He just feels a certain way. Okay. There are a lot of people in the world that absolutely fucking hate white people like me. Stupid honky crackers just like me. Okay, so I'm not asking those people to apologize for how they feel. You know, if you're not taking it, feeling a certain way is one thing, but taking it out on someone, that's obviously different. You can't go around hurting people. But feelings are just feelings. Everybody has them. Who cares? Everybody has feelings. Nobody should apologize for hurting someone else's feelings. We're adults. We're adults, and this is the internet. And... Everyone has a voice now. Everyone has a voice now. If you have a cell phone, you can sign up for YouTube or Facebook or whatever for free, just like all of us, and you have a platform for your voice. And nobody should have to apologize for, for speaking their mind. Nobody should have their... their thoughts or whatever censored either it's it's silly it's just that you know 
you shouldn't be censored, but at the same time, you have to be man enough and strong enough to, to put up with whatever backlash might come from you speaking your mind. But never apologize. I don't know, this whole thing is, is gone on for too long. It is, it's out of control. Um, everybody has a victim card burning a hole in their wallet that they're just dying to pull out and play. It's really sad. It's really, really sad. And anybody who feels like they have some sort of um, creativity or artistic desire of expression or whatever that they want to get out don't don't cater or pander to the uh, you know identity politic mafia that's out there right now don't do it You know, it's just, it's silly. You can't use the word race anymore in D&D. You can't have even orcs. You can't, you can't say, well, my sex is female. It's got to be what your gender or pronoun is. Um, it's, it's, it's absurd. It's really, it's really weird. It's a weird time we're living in. Anyway, I'm going to go inside. i got some shopping to do. Um, but hey, I'm proud of everybody out there. I'm proud of you guys and girls and in between, whatever else you might be in between. I'm not trying to, to exclude anybody um, based on their gender identity or their parts down below. Um, but I'm proud of everyone for helping stamp out racism. We're really hitting them where it hurts right now. Um, Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben, it's just the tip of the iceberg, baby. We're, we're getting it. We're getting it. Um, we're going to finish it off. Um, we'll get that crusty old wrinkly ass white dude off the Quaker Oat box next. Uh, you know, we'll leave Toucan Sam because he's, he, I don't know if I can say that, uh, Toucan Sam's cool because Toucan Sam is kind of rainbowy colored, so that's probably cool. But uh, yeah, we're getting them. We're getting them. I'm gonna go inside here. Hopefully, they took all that Uncle Ben shit off the shelf and the Aunt Jemima off the shelf in the store because um, it's gonna really offend me. Um, it's really gonna offend me and, and bring to the forefront my white guilt if I see that kind of stuff. I'm very sensitive. I'm a snowflake and I need to be I need to be coddled and held gently so I don't need to be triggered by any of that stuff so good job America keep up the good work fight the good fight proud of you and uh, peace no